Did Yallop's problems with Hogg um, <laughs> Im- <laughs> impact on the morale of the team? Was it a problem for the team to manage? It, you know, look, uh, I've often believed fast bowlers are bullies. You, you know, and to bowl generally quick, mate, you've you got to have something a bit wrong. I think, you know, when their blood's coming out of their boots, and that's what, it's not an easy profession. That wickets are hard, they're running in. They're a special sort of people, and, uh, and they're the people that are the catalyst. When you walk out in the field, as a fielding captain, whatever, you look to your senior bowlers, you, you know, your strike bowlers, and they're the people that provide a bit of magic. You can do a bit in the field, but it's the bowler that grabs all the ball by the scruff of the neck. So they are very special, and, and, and you've got to let them loose a little bit. Um, and Hoggy was one of those that, you know, when the eyeballs were spinning and you waved your hand in front of him, there was no one there. <laughs> now, he might be listening to this, but, you know, fantastic character. Um, and I, the, the time when I knew we were in trouble was it was in a, a game in, in Adelaide uh, playing against England. And, and maybe in that day, those days would have been around about Australia Day. Sort of uh, 26. Of June. I remember that because it's my birthday, um, and uh, it, we were under the pump, you know. And uh, and Graham was one of these fellows that it wasn't it was quite a quiet and shy sort of a fellow. He wasn't a grab you by the throat sort of. He wasn't an Ian Chapel and and that sort of thing. He, he was his own personality. Uh, and anyway, there was a bit of a hard to do between Graham Yallop and, and Rodney Hogg. Maybe Wally was just breathing. I'm not too sure. But Hoggy had steam coming out of everywhere. We're at the drinks break, you know, sort of three o'clock day and that sort of thing. And Wally, and uh, Hoggy just sort of he said, look, why don't you come outside behind the, behind the pavilion and we'll get this sorted out right now. I'm going to smack you right in the head. This is the Australian cricket captain. I'm vice captain. And I'm now, my immediate thoughts were, Jesus, if he does that, I'm now in charge. And at that stage, I'd captained two games in my whole life. I'd captained two A-grade games in my whole life. And I'm looking around thinking, mate, what am I going to do next? Because Oggy's going to kill the captain. So it was a very, look, it was a very, very tough time. 